Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Keys, and today we're gonna look at the Navy MP5 submachine gun. It's a high rarity, and uh, originally it was purchased in DZ6 once you hit DZ rank 50. However, when I went looking for it, it wasn't there. Instead, uh, it was after the April update, so that DZ safe house was replaced with a bunch of the gear sets for the Nomad. Um, so two Nomad pieces for purchase with DZ credits, and then two uh, blueprints with Phoenix credits. So I actually had to go to the uh, base of operations and the special weapons vendor selling them there now. I think I paid around 180 Phoenix credits. And to be fair, this is my favorite machine uh, submachine gun. I know a lot of people are saying, hey, what about the Vector? The Vector is absolutely the best. Well, you know, my main issue with the Vector is the amount of bullets in the magazine. Um, you know, with the SMG here, the uh, Navy MP5, I can get 61 bullets in the mag, whereas with my Vector, I think the highest I could get it was around 42, 43. Um, so it just came down to, you know, I was reloading all the time, whereas the MP5, you know, when a yellow bar is uh, running at me, I can, uh, you know, safely gun him down with a magazine and not have to worry about him having maybe a sliver of health. So uh, let's take a jump in and, and see what I have for uh, stats on my weapon. So let's look at the uh, MP5 without any attachments on it. Um, you'll have your critical hit chance. Um, the RPM is 800 and a magazine size of 32. Now with my attachments, I have rounds per minute at 1023 and a magazine of 81. Um, for perks on mine, just to show you the perks that I uh, found and I liked, I had my critical hit chance at 25% on the roll. I had Adept and Fierce, which helped my critical hit chance. And then uh, I also, as a third perk, had Skilled. So, um, you know, moving on from this, the two biggest things that I want to do with an SMG is make sure that I can increase the rate of fire, the magazine size. And then thirdly, the accuracy and headshot damage uh, as number four. So I have a magazine that increases my magazine size and rate of fire. I have a large optics that increases headshot damage and accuracy. My muzzle increases accuracy and critical hit chance. And then I also have an underbarrel as well that will increase the accuracy and the hip fire accuracy. I don't use hip fire a whole lot, um, but that's something that typically runs or rolls on an underbarrel. But you know, as you can see, it really comes down to rate of fire, magazine size, accuracy, um, and critical hit chance. So when you're up close, you'll see I'm doing anywhere from 18,000 to 48,000 to the head, and then the body goes 8,000 to uh, to low 20s. Um, do you know what? This gun is amazing even in mid-range. You see here, I, I zoomed in a tiny little bit, but the accuracy is very uh, good on this gun, the stability. I have the ability to, you know, at a, at a close range and a medium range, uh, you know, be able to combat NPCs very effectively. Where I do struggle with uh, this sort of gun is when you do the, the long range. You can't really hold down the trigger and just spam it. You really have to focus on doing, uh, you know, burst fires. My recommendation for burst fires is always, you know, three or four shots, uh, let off the trigger. What it'll do is the reticle will drop down about, uh, you know, a couple centimeters and then you can uh, go again that way. You know, if you're shooting at the head, you can typically get, you know, three or four or four or five headshots and then the body is, is much easier. But uh, let's take this out into uh, PvE and see how it does when we fight different NPCs at different levels. Um, so here we're at the uh, refugee camp. And you'll see that, uh, you know, I do have the ability at a short and a long range to do a fair amount of damage to NPCs. And it's a very accurate weapon. Here I'm even just holding down the trigger, I'm not even burst firing. And I can take down NPCs fairly quickly and land a lot of different shots. There really isn't a lot of problem with that. Um, you'll also see I, I pulled out my Tenebrae Sniper Rifle. Um, any, any type of marksman rifle really goes really nicely with an SMG. Um, when you get to those to those far ranges an SMG may struggle a little bit but you can uh, you know pull out your your secondary which you know some people do shotguns really depends on the build you have I, I really like running SMGs or auto rifles as my primary and then a sniper rifle is my secondary but I also have people in my group that love doing the uh, you know rushing shotguns so that uh, 
that has come into effect, but you'll see that the SMG does play very, very nice with the sniper rifle. Um, and, you know, all around it just, uh, you know, I find the Navy MP5 with that increased magazine size of 61 with my particular mods uh, just makes it very easy for me to cut through a lot of the NPCs with, with very little difficulty. Um, you know, I, I still like using my vector. I use my vector quite a bit. It's, it's definitely situational. One of the perks I like about the vector that I have is that uh, when I do critical damage, 3% of that damage is returned to me as health. So in certain situations, you know, that's helpful. Um, but, you know, it's kind of those, uh, you know, risk-reward type situations where, you know, I prefer to have an extra 20 shots in my magazine. Uh, sorry here, I was replying to a text message. Um, but, you know, I like having that uh, increased magazine size so that, you know, I'm not in a situation where I'm reloading and I have, you know, rushing shotgunners or those uh, deadly golf clubbers running after me. You know, I can really go in and be competitive uh, against any type of or any level enemy. Um, it is really helpful too when you're looking at taking down a boss. Um, just imagine, you know, a team of, of people, you know, get four people running vectors at 40 uh, bullets per magazine, that's 120 bullets. If you've got 40 running 60, you got 240. So, you know, a team of MP5s is, is really going to outgun a team of, of, you know, vector runners. And that's really hard for me to say given, you know, the vector was one of my first SMG weapons. You know, the AUG was the first one that I had drop. I really like the AUG. I use it quite a bit as well. Um, but the vector uh, was honestly probably my favorite up until the uh, the MP5. For this particular one here, I rolled it about 10 times to get uh, these stats. Um, I found what ran, what rolled most often was, uh, you know, commanding, skilled, self-preserved, talented, unforgiving, responsive. It wasn't really the ones that I wanted. I was really looking for things that increased my critical hit chance and headshot damage. Those uh, are the two things that make a huge difference, especially when you're in a boss fight. You know, you know you're going to be landing, you know, one critical hit out of every two or three shots, um, you know, with an SMG. But at the same time, having that headshot bonus is really good when you're fighting a boss and you can take them out very quickly. Well, guys, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, smash that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.